Hi everybody, it's Dollar Tree Trisha. Today I'm going to be doing a video of how to make your own paper clip. Fancy, with some ribbon, with some fabric. Um, I had a viewer ask me to do a video about this and how I do them, so I am going to show you how it works. Um, first, if you're not a subscriber, um, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you on my channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified of more videos that I'm going to do, um, please click the bell and that will let you know, hey, hey, she's doing a video. All right, let's get started. Okay, as you know, in my last haul, I hauled this fabric that was um, it was a lot bigger. I did cut some of it off because I was playing with it. It actually, it's pretty big. Um, but I got this from the dollar store and I also got this one from the dollar store. Now bear with me. I've never done a video like this, um, showing how to do something. So this, I'm learning with you. Okay. What you're going to do or what I do is I like to use, I measure six inches. I got my ruler. Oh, see, I wanted to show it to the screen <laughs> and not to the camera. Okay, so I'm going to measure it six inches and then I'm going to just cut and it doesn't have to be exact. I am just cutting straight. And it doesn't matter if it's not straight or if it's jagged, it doesn't matter because you're going to cut the ends off anyway. Okay, so I have my six inches. Whoops. That's this way. This is a lot longer. This is more than, this is about 12, 13 inches long. Okay, now what I'm going to do, if you want, I don't do this, but if you want, measure out an inch. I'll do it now, but I just really guesstimate. Um, and in fact, I'll do it a little longer. And you can either cut it straight across, or, and this is your strip, or what I like to do is I start it and then I rip it. It rips pretty straight, except what you're going to end up with are these um, little frays on the ends, but I like that because it gives it an antique look. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these paper clips. I have a whole bunch of them. I got them all at the dollar store, and this is what I store them in. And I believe this was from the dollar store as well. <laughs> it's not going to be on there. Oh, yeah. Um, and that, this is what it says, those large colored paper clips, and it tilts like that. So that's what I have my paper clips in. So now we're going to take this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. You don't have to, though. This is just what I do. And then you're going to put it over the top. So you want the paper clip part that you're going to attach to the paper, like it's on my finger. This would be the paper. You want that on top. Okay? So you take it and you put it on top and you hold it there with your thumb. Then you take your right end and pull it through. Whoops, see I was looking at the camera, sorry. Um, you take your right end and you pull it through and then you hold that and you take your left end and you pull it through. If I can get my fingers out of the way, there you go. I got big nails, <laughs> but I wouldn't trade my nails. And then you just pull up at the top. Now don't worry, this actually worked out pretty good, but don't worry if your fabric's twisted or like this more is showing. You just have to play with it and move it around until you get the desired look you want. Then I pinch them together and I just go at an angle with some sharp scissors and voila. Now I have a nice clip that, like here's my, this is my, one of my planners that I have. And if I wanted to, I would just attach it 
to wherever I wanted it to be. And then look how cute it, I guess you can leave it like this. Look how cute it is. They all stick out. And you can use these for Bible journaling. You can use them as bookmarks. You can um, use them in your journals. You can use them in your planners. You can use them anything you want to. You can use them in your scrapbooks if you want to. All right, so this I did with the fabric. This is a piece of purple dotted fabric that I um, had already pre-cut. And I'm gonna do it again for you. Just fold it over, and it doesn't have to be exact. Put it on the top of the paper clip. Hold it with your thumb. Bunch up the end. Pull it through from behind. Bunch up the other end. Pull it through from behind. And then just pull it straight up. This is so funny because <laughs> normally my fabric never goes the right way, so um, I always have to play with it, but this time I'm getting kind of lucky. And then however long you want it to be, pinch them together and cut the excess off and throw it away. You can also do it with tulle. I did this, um, I got a package or something that had this on it and I just made, made uh, this yellow one, but I'll show you how to do a white one. I bought this tool, super cheap. I bought it a long time ago. Um, with this though, you're gonna wanna do, I don't even measure, but let's see if I was gonna measure. You wanna do, like, I'm gonna do eight inches. And that, I'm gonna guesstimate that's eight inches. I'm gonna cut it, okay. I'm gonna fold it in half, and maybe even fold it in half again, cause it's pretty thick. I'm going to take my dollar store paper clip, okay, and I am going to pull that on the top, bunch it together, and push it through, whoops, come on all the way through, there we go, one side, and then I'm going to do the other side, okay, and then you just pull it at the top. You can use tool, you can use ribbon, you can use anything. Um, sometimes with the tool, you uh, might get some frayed ends. And what you can do is take a lighter and you take like a little, I don't wanna say a big lighter, but any, any kind of lighter. And you can make the ends, but be careful because it will catch on fire fast. So, um, you know, you might have to blow it out, but it makes a really nice antique look if you want to do like a vintage look. So these are some that I have done. Okay, these are some other ones. This one is a uh, chevron. This is a pink one. We showed you that one. This one is a white one and see like I have some little frays, but like I say, I like it. I like the little phrase. And when you have them um, randomly sticking out of different sections in your book, it looks super fun and cute. Whoops, see, I wanna show it to the camera. <laughs> um, it looks super fun and cute. So that is how I do it. You can use ribbon, you can use tool, you can use um, uh, like Christmas uh, ribbon it all works and it all looks wonderful so that is how I do it I hope you liked my video give me a thumbs up and happy paperclip making everybody have a blessed day thank you